Welcome to the channel, human. Click that subscribe button. I am leaving the theater as we speak. I just got done watching The Beekeeper. I'm in the area where you don't have a whole lot of humans yapping and trying to fuck up your boy's video. So let's get into this. I am a huge Jason Statham fan. I have been since I was a kid. I've seen the majority of his films. Just wanted you to know that, understand that I am a fan. I like how the opening gives you a history lesson about bees. Bees are very important for the world. A lot of humans don't know that. Or if they do, they just don't understand the complexities involved with bees. So that really sets up the tone and the mood for the film. You're like, they're about to get into some serious shit. And I love that. I love that setup. And this film shows some of the reasons why humanity is trash. Manipulation. Humans can't be trusted. I don't trust any human. These motherfuckers lie. They're two-faced. You gotta be on your P's and Q's and the rest of the alphabet when you're dealing with humans. Jason Statham's character is living a quiet, peaceful life. And of course, you got some trash fucking humans that fuck that shit up. And I'm like, you gotta be dumb as hell to piss off Jason Statham. I was rooting for him to kill all the necessary individuals that deserve that shit in the context of this film. On a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly ass day. And 10 being mind-blowingly amazing. I'm going to give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. Which is an A+. Jason Statham is a beast. If you have seen a bunch of Jason Statham's movies, you know he always delivers the A game. He's He always delivers the beast mode in the full extent of what that represents. The B puns in this movie are awesome and the way that they're used are pretty clever. The action and the fight scenes are top tier in this damn movie. I kid you not. Yo, Jason Statham is flexing on Marvel and Star Wars. This Jason Statham film is better than all the recent fucking Marvel bullshit that's been coming out. All the fucking garbage they've been doing with Star Wars. Jason Statham is better than all that shit. I kid you not. Ain't nobody in the MCU more badass than Jason Statham. I'm telling you now. He don't even need no Infinity Stones. He can just roll up in there and fuck everybody up. This movie is absolutely fantastic. If you like action movies. If you like martial arts movies or movies that have martial arts in it. Jason Statham as the beekeeper. Oh yeah, he kicks plenty of ass. Trust me. I see why the bees were cool with him. The idea of corruption, corrupt motherfuckers, is explored in this movie. The idea of how individuals, they think they're above it all. Some individuals believe they're untouchable because they are connected to certain individuals. What did that be? They're connected to the law, right? Various parts of the government, whatever it may be. They're like, I'm untouchable. You can't get to me. I have this, this, and that. I have all these resources. It's like, you think that shit gonna protect you from Jason Statham? And then when you watch this movie and they get into the lore of what's going on with Jason Statham's character, can I get a sequel, please? They gotta do at least one sequel to this fucking movie. But if not, on its own, this movie is fucking awesome. It is just awesome, and it's badass to the full extent of what you would think when you think about what badass is. Is this Jason Statham's best movie? No. Is it one of his best movies? Yes, because Jason Statham has a lot of dope-ass movies. But you can let me know how you feel in the comment section about this movie, but this shit was fucking awesome. Shit, I had a hard time eating my popcorn while I was watching this movie, because... My jaw was on the ground. I'm like, look at that shot. Look at that fight scene. Look at how this is done. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And the audience that I was watching it with, they were going fucking crazy, cheering, standing up, clapping. It was just a great experience. And that's rare in this day and age, right? With all the bullshit they be pumping out, it's so rare. All these big IPs constantly full of agenda and disappointing us. This is what's up right here. Please, please. Please make one sequel. Just one sequel to this. That's all I ask. 
Shout out to Jason Statham. Terrence out.